Hello boys and girls, welcome to Storytime with Teacher Linda. Today's story is called Good Night, Sleep Tight, Ways to Banish Bedtime Worries by Amber Stewart and Lane Marlowe. It was bedtime for Button. My little bear cub must be tired, said Mummy, after such a busy day. Sweet dreams, said Daddy. As they kissed him good night, Button thought sleepily about his day and wondered what his dreams might bring. He remembered lazing in the early morning sunshine, climbing with his big sisters, playing by their favourite pool, and finding interesting insects. Even a ladybird with three spots on the one wing and not a single spot on the other, Button found it on the fallen tree that looked like a big bear asleep in the grass. Button had forgotten about the big scary tree bear until that very moment, supposing it came into his dreams tonight. He couldn't take the risk. Mummy! Daddy! he called. Button told them all about his scary tree bear worry. Daddy said, shall I give you something nice to think about before you go to sleep? Nice thoughts always keep bad ones away. Yes, please, Button nodded feeling much braver about the scary tree bear already. Well, wondered Daddy, shall I tell you about a day when there were no scary things, a day so happy that if you think of it tonight, only sweet dreams will come. What day was that, Daddy? asked Button. Daddy kissed the top of his nose and said, The day you were born. It was one of those days that started misty, but I knew a hot and sunny day was just around the corner. A bit like today, asked Button. When I woke up, I couldn't even see over the berry bush. Yes, just like today, Daddy smiled. And on the day you were born, I gathered the juiciest berries and stickiest honey. A bit like today, asked Button, as he remembered lying in the warm sun eating his sweet breakfast berries. Yes, said Daddy, but even more delicious. On the day you were born, Daddy continued, your big sisters were so happy they found special presents for you. Like my lucky pine cone, said Button, and my little log boat. And did they want to play with me too? Oh yes, laughed Daddy. They wanted to play with you right there and then. But Mummy said you needed to grow a little. And now I've grown, said Button. We played so much today, we had to jump in two rivers pool to cool down. When evening came, remembered Daddy, I took you in my arms to watch your first ever sunset and sing you a lullaby. Just like every evening, yawned Button. He loved watching the sun go down with Daddy and singing songs that made them laugh. And on your very first night, said Daddy quietly, you were so tired you fell fast asleep. Mummy and I watched over you and no scary tree bear and bad dreams came to disturb our little one. Just like tonight, said Button. Yes, whispered Daddy. And Daddy was right. Only sweet dreams came. The end, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you for listening.